In this video, I will show you how to fix if your PlayStation Network sign in has failed on your PS5. So let's jump straight into it. So, in order to do this, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and log into my account. So, at the moment, I'm not currently signed into the PlayStation Network. You can tell this because if I come across the PlayStation Plus, we've got the option down here to sign in. So, if you are trying to sign in and you're getting an error message and you're not able to sign in, there's a couple of things you can check to try and fix this problem. The first thing you're going to want to do from your home screen is come into your settings. So, if you come into the top right hand corner and press onto the gear icon to come into your settings, from here, what you're going to want to do is come to Network and press X. Then from Connection Status, what you want to do is go right and go down to the bottom and press on to View PlayStation Network Status. So the first thing you're going to want to check is that all the servers are up and operational and there's no current problems or maintenance going on. As you can see, at the moment we've got a tick saying all services are up and running and you can see all the services here. So if any of these are down or there's any maintenance work going on, then you're basically just going to have to wait for this to be completed and then you should be able to go ahead and sign back into the PlayStation Network. So if that did not work for you, then the next thing you can try is if you come back into your settings and what you want to do is come down to system. From here, if you go on system software and then go right and what you want to do is select system software update and settings. Now, if there's any updates available in here, you want to make sure that you install those updates as any out of date software is going to cause this problem to appear. As you can see at the top where it says update system software, it currently says up to date. So we know there's no updates available. But you can, of course, install the updates that way and then try and sign in, see if that fixes the problem. Now, the third and final method that I would recommend in order to fix this is not the most ideal, but it can sometimes help is from your settings. If you go onto users and accounts and what you're going to want to do is go all the way down to the bottom to delete users. You want to go ahead and actually delete the user account from your system. In doing this, sometimes this can fix any bugs or glitches with your profile signing in. So you just want to select the option that you want to delete for the user. But just to note that if you do delete them, then things like their save data, screenshots and video clips will also be deleted from the console. So this is kind of a last resort, but if you really can log in, then of course you can come across, delete the user, re-add the user onto the console, and then you should be able to go ahead and sign back into the PlayStation Network. So of course, once you've tried those fixes, what you can do is just sign in and you can sign in with either the QR code on screen or you can sign in manually with your email address and password for your account. So what I'm going to do is just log in with my actual account and press sign in. And because I've got two-step verification, I'm just going to wait for a code to be sent through to my phone. Or it might be the authenticator app for yourself if you have that enabled on two-step verification. But once you've done that and you'll sign back in, it's going to verify your account. And if there's no problems, then what you're going to be able to do is go ahead and sign into your account. So that's how to fix if your PlayStation Network sign-in has failed on your PlayStation 5. I hope this tutorial did help you out today. And if this did help you out, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like, and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial, and I will see you in the next video.